The music has just gone out into the public and, and all sorts of people have done all sorts of things with his music and have taken the songs in, in their own directions. And some of the versions that get sent back to my mom are very, very good. And some of the versions that get sent back to my mom are very, very bad. <laughs> but she just goes, well, you know what? It wasn't my music to start with and it certainly isn't mine now. She holds the copyright, but you know, what, what can you do other than say yay or nay? And she's not going to deny people their, you know, she's not going to deny people their hero and, you know, a little bit of, you know, singing a good song, singing a good song. So what happens every once in a while is I, I go and I take a song and I, I break it down into its constituent parts and I build it back up again into something different. And what that is for me is participating in a, um, an organic process to this music. This music is a living thing because people keep singing and keep recording and keep talking about it. And it's a living being now. And it's really exciting to be part of that organic process. So when I take a song apart, build it back up again, I get to be a part of that. So this next song, I always thought the lyrics and, and the melody were really, like, they're sad. Um, the story is a very sad one. But the recording that, you know, that we have with Stan doing it, it's, it's a very upbeat, it's really bouncy, and it's got all sorts of guys picking away and dee -dee 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 -dee, you know. And it's, but it, I always felt there was a juxtaposition between the story and, and the melody and, you know, the way that it was put forth. So, this is what I came up with. <coughs> he was the captain of the Nightingale. Twenty-one days from Clyde and Cole, he could smell the flowers of Bermuda in the gale when he died on the North Rock shore. Just five short hours from Bermuda, in a fine October gale, there came a cry, oh, there be breakers dead ahead from the collier nightingale. No sooner had the captain brought her round, came a rending crash below, hard on her beam, and groaning went the nightingale, and overside her mainmast flows. Oh, Captain, are we all for drowning? Came the cry from all the crew, the boats be smashed. How are we all then to be saved? They are stoven through and through. Oh, are you brave and hardy, call your men? Or are you blind and cannot see? The captain's gig still lies before you, haul and sound it shall carry away. He was the captain of the nightingale, twenty-one days from Clyde and Cole. He could smell the flowers of Bermuda in the gale when he died on the North Rock shore. But when the crew were all assembled and the gig prepared for sea, twelve seemed there were but eighteen places to be manned. Nineteen mortal souls were we. So cries the captain, now do not delay, nor do you spare a thought for me. My duty is to save you all now, if I can see you return quick as can be. He was the captain of the nightingale, twenty-one days from Clyde in cold. He could smell the flowers of Bermuda in the gale when he died on the North Rock shore. Oh, there be flowers in Bermuda, beauty lies on every hand, and there be laughter, ease and drink for every man, but there is no joy. For me, for when we reach the wretched nightingale, what an awful sight was plain. The captain drowned. He was.
was tangled in the mizzen chain, smiling bravely beneath the sea. He was the captain of the nightingale, twenty-one days from Clyde and Call. He could smell the flowers of Bermuda in a gale when he died on the North Rock shore. He was the captain of the nightingale, twenty-one days from Clyde and Call. He could smell the flowers of Bermuda in the gale when he died on the North Rock shore.